Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week with me, Sally LePage. And this week's question comes from Henk. Is lava wet? It's one of those short questions that seems really simple at first, but then the more you think about it, the more baffling it gets. So to pull us out of this caldera of confusion is magmanimous geologist Brooke Johnson from the University of Oxford. Well, the dictionary definition of wet is covered or saturated with liquid, and that makes sense when you think about water. If you get in the shower and turn the tap on, you definitely get wet pretty quickly. If you've seen videos of lava, you've seen how runny it can be. It looks like liquid, but lava's not actually a liquid. Lava is molten rock, and it's more like a gooey solid, like toffee but heated to a thousand degrees Celsius and made of minerals. Mmm, imagine a volcano that erupted rivers of toffee. So in the strict definition of things, lava can't be wet because it's not liquid. It can't make things wet or saturate them. If you watch a video of something getting thrown into lava, it doesn't go splash and sink, it goes thud and then bursts into flames. I can confirm, having just spent far too much time watching videos of people throwing random objects into lava, that they do indeed just go thud and then burst into flames. Lava is made of minerals. Minerals are inorganic, naturally occurring solid materials that have defined chemical ingredients and a defined crystal structure. That means that water ice is a mineral, and that means that water is a type of lava. I'm just going to repeat that because it is mind-blowing. Ice fits all the definitions of a mineral, and so by definition, water is a type of lava. My brain just erupted. By that logic, you could rephrase the question as, is water wet? which is the sort of philosophical question I don't think anyone can answer. So is lava wet? Well, usually not, but it can sometimes be water. Moving from red hot to red spot, next week's question comes from Rame. Why do ladybugs have different numbers of spots on their backs? If you're dotty about ladybirds, come and chat about them on our forum over at nakedscientists.com forward slash forum or if you'd like to ask a question of your own, email chris at nakedscientists.com. I've been Sally LePage, and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>